Hey, fellow YouTubers. It's not perfect weather, but it's not bad either. It's kind of warm and humid, so I'm, I'm just riding in this tank top. But it's a little bit, little nice, cool breeze. A little bit of overcast. So it's all good. I like it. It's, it's appreciated. Big Red Betsy is running so good after all three fluids changed and air filter cleaned. That's all you need to do. I love it to get your Harley to run so good. But, you know, I want to talk about something that's politically incorrect. And that's um, appreciation for masculinity. Masculinity has its place in society. It has its place within the family. It has its place in the Bible. If you look at the demeanor of God and Jesus, they're very masculine. Jesus at the same time is very um, gentle and merciful. But at the same time, he talks about hell more than, than he talks about heaven in the New Testament. He mentions uh, hell something like 200 and some odd times in the New Testament. So, you know, even though Jesus is gentle and merciful and loving, he's talking about hell more than he's talking about heaven. So anyways, discipline, authority figure, um, kind, gentle, yet stern guidance, all of that is masculine and all of that has a place with rearing children and um, in our society and whatnot. So men are not really encouraged to be men these days. So how can we go about ourselves making sure that we're still in touch with our masculinity? How can we do that? So I came up with a few ideas on how to be manly. Be manly. You know, face fears, whatever your fears are, confront them. Um, for instance, I had, I didn't even think of this until just right now. I had a, a hard time with numbers. So I actually got a bank job as a teller to confront that and get better at that and just deal with it I ended up getting fired <laughs> but eight months you know of dealing with that and just doing my best to get something that I was naturally not inclined to do I feel was a, a valid challenge and made me a better person so just facing our fears whatever they might be and con confronting them and dealing with them I think just going backpacking, going camping, and um, just kind of getting a little bit removed from the nearest market or liquor store and having somewhat of a sense of self-reliance, you know, whether you've got your wife and kids with you or just a friend or by yourself, all good. But, um, you know, just having that feeling of being out in nature and having to provide your own warmth, having to prepare your food, having to make sure that the sleeping environment is suitable to sleep, whether it be you know dealing with the cold or the heat or whatever. Um, you know, all of that is reconfirming a feeling of autonomy and self resilience and independence that we need as man, men, to be able to be able to conquer. SHIT when it hits the fan and we never know when we're gonna have to step up to the plate and be that manly man for our family Okay, you, you, you follow me you get what I'm saying uh, Travel travel with no itinerary just um, you know throw throw caution to the wind and Take off for a week whether it would be with family and kids or not I used to travel down to Mexico with my wife and, and children and have no itinerary. You know, practice that bravery, that, that trust in God and just trust in trust. Trust in God, trust in yourself, 
trust in whatever you need to trust in to be able to be in to go into that area of unknown and be okay with that. Um, you know, a lot, I'm sure if there's any women watching, I'll disagree. They'll disagree, and even some men would disagree that you know have a good relationship with their wife. But every now and then, just practice telling your wife, "No, I don't want it that way," and it's not going to be that way. Period. I, I don't want to discuss it anymore. <laughs> now I'm divorced, so that might not be the best advice. But I think every now and then your wife will gain respect for you if you just kind of like on some issues just go you know what we've been through this i've said no it's no i don't want to discuss it anymore and let her throw a tizzy fit for a week or two and just calmly stand your ground that's being a man you know man's house is his castle especially if you're paying uh earning more money <laughs> so politically incorrect oh, oh. Um, I think having a physical achievement, no matter what your level is, to be able to set a goal and to achieve running a half marathon, a full marathon, um, you know, even just a one day hike, an all day hike traveling the PCT, Pacific Coast Trail, John Muir Trail, up the coast, there's like a famous trail on the East Coast too, um, climbing Mount, Mount Whitney, climbing Mount Baldy, whatever. You know, ha uh, set some physical goal that might require a work a week or two of building resilience and endurance to get up to that readiness for that and then conquer that. Um, Lastly, you know, I think most of my followers, followers are believers, but confess your sins. That's manly to do, to just confront them, each and every one of them, no matter how embarrassing, no matter how downright and dirty, you know, just confess those sins, even if it's to the government where you have to do prison time, you know, whatever. And then just start over fresh after you pay whatever penance or cost you have to pay so I think all of those things are you know kind of being manly and you know society and a lot of things are not rewarding us and giving us incentives to be manly and so I thought it would be a good idea to just make a reminder on um, what we can do as individuals to maintain our masculinity and our manliness so that when that proverbial SHIT hits the fan, we got at least a little bit of resilience. Especially if our, our wives and children are depending on us. I mean, I don't want to be a fear monger, but at the same time, I feel one of the best things I learned from backpacking is the old saying to um, expect the best, prepare for the worst. So, you're an optimist, but at the same time, you're um, mentally and physically and um, materially ready for the worst. Amen. Hit like, hit dislike, leave a comment. Adios.